Environmental justice can mean many things and can be found all over the world. As we zoom into the United States, Texas, and more specifically, the Austin area, one location that stands out as a promoter of environmental justice is Wild Basin Wilderness Preserve. At Wild Basin, we believe environmental justice must come now. The rest of this video is a peek into the daily operations of Wild Basin Wilderness Preserve and its creative research center, and how Now or Never goes from words into action. My name is Barbara Duggleby, and I'm the executive director of St. Edwards University's Wild Basin Creative Research Center. I oversee the operations of the center and the co-management of the preserve with Travis County. In addition to our preserve management and environmental education outreach responsibilities to the county, we manage research, stewardship, environmental education, and artist in residence programs. Wild Basin Preserve was founded in 1976 through our community grassroots efforts as a Travis County Preserve. The seven amazing women who spearheaded the creation of Wild Basin Preserve were an environmental group called Now or Never. They had a goal that Wild Basin would be for everyone. Environmental justice to me means that everybody, regardless of their location, their race, ethnicity, religion, gender, economic status, has the right to enjoy nature and to participate in decisions about their environment. Environmental justice also recognizes that all species on Earth and the natural systems that support them must be considered when making decisions about the environment and that could affect those species' well-being. I'm Terry Siegenthaler. I've lived in the Austin area for almost 50 years, and I have had an, a relationship with Wild Basin for more than 40 years. It's, it's environmental justice in both directions. You know, it's taking care of what we have, what we've inherited, our natural landscape, and also taking care of the people of the Austin area, Travis County area. Sort of two prongs. One is preservation and just modeling, you know, really good responsible stewardship out here, modeling that for the community at large. And then the second prong, of course, is education and making that education accessible and available to everybody across the Travis County and Austin region. My name is Paul Vickery. I am the environmental educator at Wild Basin Creative Research Center here in Austin, which is part of um, St. Edwards University. Environmental justice to me is about respect. Um, respecting of the natural beauty, which we're surrounded by right now, um, but also respect to every single human and the availability to have clean air, clean water, clean land and shelter, and the opportunity to survive and thrive and enjoy um, this planet that we live on. Students should care about environmental justice because they're needing to learn and gain new knowledge because they're going to become the next leaders of this world that we're in. If they take interest in and then they start to learn and respect the knowledge that is being researched and whatnot, then they're able to make the decisions that impact themselves but also future generations. We help hundreds of undergraduate and graduate students participate in research activities as well as professional internships. So my name is Maya Sujai. I am a student at St. Edwards University and my position here at Wild Basin is the Stewardship and Land Management Intern. So from interning here at Wild Basin I've gained a lot of hands-on experience with land management techniques and skills that will be useful for me in my future career path. In my future career path I'm hoping to pursue something along the lines of land management and uh, conservation um, and hopefully working in state parks or national parks. My name is Luis Carlos Alonso Jr. Uh, I go to San Juan Diego Catholic High School and I work here at St. Edwards Wild Basin Wilderness Preserve. I've gained a lot of knowledge and insight on who I want to be in the future and what I want to major in when I get to college because uh, I'm going to college at SFA and I'm going to graduate in forestry and coming here obviously 
helped with that a lot. So it's just been really nice to be here so that I could get that experience that would then lead into me getting the desire to become part of the forestry career. The forests that are located here aren't just places where trees are, they're ecosystems that have such diversity and such beautiful complexity to them that it really is like you're stepping into another world. Another way that we incorporate environmental justice into our work at Wild Basin is by working hard to protect the Bee Creek watershed. Environmental justice recognizes that everybody lives in a watershed and what we do in that watershed affects not only the health of the streams and creeks and the animals that depend upon it, but also people downstream. Okay. Good morning, everyone. My name is Trevor Reisler Compton. I'm the preserve manager at Wild Basin Wilderness Preserve. Uh, through St. Ed's University. Uh, I work with Travis County and St. Ed's to manage Wild Basin. Uh, my focus is on the 227 acres that you can see behind me. Uh, I keep an eye on Bee Creek, which you can also see flowing behind me, as well as the two and a half miles of hiking trail that we have here open to the public. So Bee Creek is the lifeblood of Wild Basin. It's the reason we have the plant and animal communities that we have here. I pull water from Bee Creek and I test it for certain indicators on the water's health. So Bee Creek feeds into the Colorado River, so all the pollution that comes into Bee Creek will make its way past downstream neighbors into the Colorado River, and that's where Austin gets a lot of its drinking water. If the water's healthy, then the plants and animals that rely on the water at Wild Basin are gonna be healthy as well. I think being a good neighbor is being a good neighbor to every living thing that's around us. Bee Creek ends at the Colorado River, it feeds the Colorado River right upstream from the Ulrich water treatment plant, which is Austin's most important water treatment plant. So what happens in Bee Creek and the quality of the water in Bee Creek is important for all of Austin, especially for those who depend on the Ulrich water treatment plant. If you don't have a healthy community across the community, it's, it's got disease, it's got bad stuff and Austin needs to take care of that. And I think Austin has lots of programs and initiatives to, to take care of that, but we have a long way to go still. I would say to Austin just to pay attention, listen and pay attention to the, the environmental advocates for the human side as well as the natural side. Environmental education is important uh, for everybody, uh, regardless of your age, because we can all continue to learn because research continues to go on, be ongoing. If each individual works together as a community, we're impacting millions of lives. And so those choices and those uh, education opportunities that people take away from a visit in the outdoors to going to a lecture and whatnot, all of that uh, is being able to make informed decisions and giving the respect to the environment that we live in. The mission of the university's Creative Research Center is to protect and maintain the, the preserve's urban wilderness, as well as to promote the importance of research, environmental education, conservation, and preservation. The youth are our future, and if we're going to have a balanced um, existence with natural, natural area protection and human development that's responsible, we need for the youth to care about that as they become voting citizens in the future. This is how we promote environmental justice at Wild Basin, by ensuring that everyone is guaranteed access to a clean and protected environment with opportunities to observe, learn, and enjoy for a lifetime. What would that look like in your community? What can you do to promote environmental justice today? Be bold in your actions.